It's all right, Mihai. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Yeah, the whole thing was odd. I kept waiting for, for them to jump us, and then they left, and we assumed we'd meet you on the trail back. Never should. Like I said, don't worry about it. Oh, no. I was getting special guest treatment from Como Driscoll. Uh, so I heard. I'm sorry. One time I I, I try to be wise and yeah, careful yeah, and goddamn come on. fool of myself. That'll teach me. Yeah, forget about, forget about it. It's all good. I'm just gonna do some stuff eating good uh Good old travel theory. Are you busy, Arthur? No. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. All right. Follow me, pal. You sure seem to have got a bout around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How okay. the hell do you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Yeah, Shares what's the business? A gold mining company. Oh. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, what? that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. So here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. All right. I'll well, go hitch then. Can you believe I just heard one of them? Are we going in then? Come on. I assume we do. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Oh, I almost okay. forgot. Bill asked me to give you a message to meet him here in town as soon as you can. Something to do with the Greys. I thought I'd nab you first. You did? Okay. Thanks. Well, there it is. Yep, that's the word. All right. Down. Do the talking then. Hello, Alden. <gasps> Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman terrible woman they often are but how's work alden terrible wages got cut again they reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us <laughs> they've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel the witness of bosses i know my comrades here and i are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty a discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. There. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. 
It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... What did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it. Discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden. Or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. Wait a minute. What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. Yeah. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Coming through. Okay. Come on, girl. All right, where are we going? Okay, let's go this way. Ha! I'm going. All right, what's gonna be now? Imagine. Uh... What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance. The unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to Strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Yep. Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And death, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? Alright. Sure. Hold up. So what are we what are we doing? Here we then? are. This is the spot. Okay. Okay. This should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. What were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. All right. Lock breaker. Okay. Right on time. Let's go. Where do I equip that? Nobody knows. Okay. Keep your distance so they don't. See and please leave that gun in its holster for once. Yeah, it is. Bidding, bidding, bitty, bitty, bidding, bidding, bidding. I'll ride ahead and get bitty, the coach bitty, to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you, or you'll scupper the whole thing. Okay. Mrs. 
I flatter, buddy. Stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Whoa! Miss Dempsey, why did you stop soon? The New York audience, they were rather cruel. New Yorkers are pretty stupid. Okay. Small show, but would you send me something for me? I, I'm looking for a Mexican soprano. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Oh, good. Madam, I've heard enough. Might I have your card? The event is on the 23rd of this nice month. Nice and easy, huh? I can't say enough about Mrs. Damson. Magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Yeah. Nice and easy. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Oh, 750. A decent amount. All right, by the looks of it, we need to go back into town. Oh, we won't. All right, let's head to see a Billy Williams. Bill. Hey Bill, I was looking for you. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? Going to where? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job. Needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them. And they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. Okay. Does this seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what about board okay. and fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. 
They think it was the Braith one. I don't want to step in that boot. No, no. No. Oh. No. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead right, come of playing both no. sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now yeah, it don't feel right. I could have told you. Oh no. Have a, let's have a drink. You want to 
It's all right, but our power is dead. He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. All right, a poor friend. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Right. Remaining long for us, looking for me, huh? Yep. Does the sound the greatest? But it looks like we need to crack on. Much more we can do. Looks like I'm gonna need a speed with Dutch about the future plans. <laughs> Come on, run over see. And I will let you over here. Game found five. What the hell? What is that? This boy? What do you mean? What boy? What's happening? Arthur, have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Whoa, the time okay, change quick. Let's go get that boy back. All right, it's a whole cavalry crushed on it. Sounds uh, sounds serious. They Let me get ready. What we was up to, Dutch. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the grazing. Now, I know, I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. All right, what guys, can we gold? go a bit quicker? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. 
I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Or if there is, it's hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect What's happening? Game. So... We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. All right, this feels like a big old action. How we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Oops. Arthur, what are you doing? My bad. Oh, 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 geez. Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Oh, hello. It feels moody as hell. And I like it. And I feel like we should go. Get it ourselves. No food, I guess. Let's go with one of those just in case. All right, everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in on foot from here. First song, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't. And you're going to do coming. this. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like Come I on. said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Oh boy. Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged yeah. or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. Okay, more people, huh? What does that mean? If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. Just, uh, I'm going. Are you 
He's then up here, right? This way, huh? Come on, this must be it. Watch out, dude. What a uh, two, three. Got him. in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, reckon. I think we should at least try. That's right. Burn this duck to the ground. You boys sure jack in. You got that one, Arthur? I think he's all right. I guess that's damn cribbage game. I this one. Put me down, you dumb yanker! I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off liquor. limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. 
So my gas is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? We'll leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Oh boy. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind. Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure? Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity. And basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing... It's done. This place... Ain't no such thing... As civilized. It's man. So in love with greed... He has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me. And I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case... It'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton. Stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house, hidden in the swamps outside Saint Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here, make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. Alright, this was a bit madman mission. But, 
Hope you guys enjoy it. I did have fun, and looks like we are in trouble every time we look up again. I thought but we was in a hurry. where? And after we check the house in next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know down in the comments if you did. Leave a like. Let me know if you played the game and enjoyed the game. And Can we get this over no, I'll with see you in the next one. And if you don't want to miss it, please subscribe. As this one has been right.